Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Sergeant Ritual Paves Survival Chaos. We are playing as the Dark Horde against the Drane, the Orcs, and the Undead. Let's roll this dice, see what we get. And that is going to be 10. So very, very sorry about you guys who are not a huge fan of the hero items, but the dice have spoken, and here we are. So... One of the big things that I really like to do right at the beginning here is pick up Dark Iron Weapons. They're only 150 gold and give us a nice little edge at the beginning. And then what else are we going to be building here? I think, uh, hmm. Just going to be checking all this stuff out. Okay, there is a gold mine here up against the undead. But before we begin, we got to send our good luck, have fun to everybody. Because once again, if we're not having fun, what the hell are we doing? So, onwards and upwards. And once again, if you guys don't like where my face is right now, this is part of a bulk recording. So, this will. Th the next video that I will have heard your guys' comments that will be recording will be the one for Monday. We love having to see everybody say a little good luck, have fun to everybody. Very, very nice. Very, very pleasant. So, I think um, really what we're going to be doing is trying to hold on for as long as we can nice and all chill like and then i am going to wait to go tier two in the middle that way we can get that prepped Ooh, brood mother okay so we're going to be seeing a lot of aoe from the undead and once again the drane are classic in terms of big bulky boys that you cannot boss around. I was trying to figure out um, another B word to get that alliteration going, but unfortunately did not get there in time to keep the rhythm flowing. So, yeah, I mean, they are going to be pushing into us nice and slow, but that is fine. I'm not too, too worried about that just yet. We are going to be build doing kind of a more classic come on. Oh! Why must you wound me like that, game? Why? My heart is broken by such betrayal. Um, what would we like to pick up? Um, yeah, just one, like at the very least get 2-0, I think will be important. Okay, so he's already gone tier 2. I'm always happy to see more people go tier 2 in the middle because that means we're going to have more people to kill in the middle. And yeah, we're going to have to spend a little bit of gold just to kind of help um, wipe this whole section out, but that'll be fine. For those of you guys who don't know, 50% spell damage reduction, very nice. 100% attack range, and plus three levels of unit damage. Okay. That should do. Two, one, zero. And we're back, and we're smacking him about. Oh, and it's the orcs across the way. All right, that's fine. We are just going to be bull rushing for tier 2. Really, really as fast as we can. Kind of ignoring anything and everything else. Because I really do think that the key of this is just going to be getting our heroes. I mean, as with all unit upgrade games, is getting our heroes as tough and as beefy and as scary as possible as fast as possible. Yeah, and I, and I think I will be sending the Dragon Rider out. Yeah, because we are slowly but carefully pushing. He's got his magic. They're three and two, so they're going to be just kicking the hell out of us at the beginning at least. But once again, I'm not too, too worried if we can lock down the middle about kind of a, getting a bit of a slower start to the races here. Okay, that's 
if he's tier two, he really kind of screwed up my whole vibe here, dude. Okay, no, we're good. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Mm. Did we just make a boo-boo? We might have. We might have just made a boo-boo. Because that was very fast. Fifteen percent unit damage. We love that. Just flat across the board. Okay, they are going to be pushing into us. That's okay. Three. Okay, we'll send out a fire tree hunter as well. Okay, we're starting to get our presence felt in the middle. Good. Okay, I can. Only, oh, he must have the Banshee starting to come out. Okay. Okay, we just gutted his back line. Oh, no, he's straight up going tier two into us. Okay, um... Damn it. Okay. We are gonna have to hold back for just a little bit. Are they going tier two into us? No, thank God. Okay, good. We've, we've stopped the siege, which is very, very important. Okay, throw him out. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Now the key is, uh, who doesn't push too, too hard? I think we might have to go the war chief. No, he does. Oh, AOE. No, we're going to want him. Oh my god, he's already lost his upper barracks? All right, so that's quickly done. Okay, nine six two, nine six eight, nine eight six. Okay, good, and now we'll be able to start making a little bit of money there. Fortunately, not nearly as much as we thought, because the the orcs, you know, kind of hopped out of there. Okay. Dalrend Blackhand, he just needs to get a few levels, and then he'll be ready and rarin to help us out for real. Hmm, and then what else are we gonna want to get here? I think just generally better units. <laughs> Okay, Sobe Mask, not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. Okay, we're getting more armor. That'll really help us out. Okay, good, and we're still able to kind of chop through all of them and whatnot. Okay, and here come the Elec Knights. Okay, so, so it's a tier two bonus from them. Okay. Really rather not keep trading one for one against the undead. Because that is a that is an equation that they win every single time.
So we just have to hold for a few more seconds. I think we will have finally whittled them down far enough. Okay, maybe not. Okay, all right. They're three and three. We are catching up to that rapidly. Let's get some more Dark Iron Weapons so we can be 4 and 2. Dalren Blackhand already has Mana Scepter, which, hey, I mean, gives HP per second back as well. Okay, and then we'll probably pick up some Barricades. Because since we lost really kind of like one of our main sources of money in the mid, we're going to have to find ways to kind of counteract that. Okay, so I think I will be also picking up some big uh, True Horde Resolve. Okay, so we are going to be pushing into them quite comfortably. What's nice is that we are kind of ping-ponging back and forth here, so we're making actually a good chunk of change. Okay, let's get some more Dark Iron Armor. Okay, there's still two and two. We have an opportunity to pull ahead here. Okay, this is what I like to see. Just constant back and forth, making money, getting experience. Let's get some more Dark Iron weapons while we're here. I think we are probably also going to have to pick up Draconic Might. That way we can also get another level, which includes the awesome summoning one. Okay, come on. If we can, I'd really like to pick up a tower. No, but aggro shuffling is very, very well done once again here. That does some damage, man. Okay, and is there any kind of, like, cleave stuff here that we can do? Ah, liquid fire is pretty great. Um, okay, we are linking up right now. Sorry, I think I just hit my mic. Okay, this was very, very well timed here. Gonna want to push him in pretty hard here. Oh, come on, get another blade storm up in here. Okay, that's fine. Um, yep, we'll be getting level six melee here. And then I think we'll send probably the dragon lord out next. They're five and three. They're two and two still. Interesting. And they're five and three as well. Okay, so we are going to have to send a hero up here. So he's going hard with the magic. Okay. Yeah, we need our AoE buddy here. God, we need some better econ as well. Just 
just let him push through. Nice. Okay, that feels good. Yeah, might as well just start repairing now. Let's get another level of barricades. And then while we're here, the moment we can get liquid fire, we pick up liquid fire for base defense. And then we'll send the dragon lord. Uh, do we need to send the dragon lord in there? I mean, we might as well just have him just kind of on tap. Okay, Dalren Blackhand also has another Ring of Regeneration, but to look at him, he now has the full support, plus 2,000 HP and 4 HP per second. That's a pretty scary guy, I gotta say. I would love to get Draconic Might right now, but I do not think it's the appropriate time. Good. Yeah, I think I think we just gotta kinda double down on the heroes right now. Three, two, one, zero. Good. A lot of good little stuns happening there. More barricades, please. Do a little aggro shuffling here, my guy. Okay, good. And we have a good amount of cash that we can throw in. I don't know where the cash came from, but my god, it's kind of horrifying, but I kind of love it. All right, so we're going to pick up the dark magic here. Necro Skull Crusher already got Claws of Attack. Very, very solid. Yeah, so he also ha has the Reconstruction Aura going. That's fine. I think our goal is going to be to try and go Tier 3 into him as fast as possible. Oh, well, speak of the devil, you shall appear. Okay, that's easy. You're going to have to probably sit back here and let the upgrades come in. They're 4 and 4. We are 6 and 3. I'm happy with that discrepancy. They are 5 and 3 and we are 6 and 3. I'm very happy with that discrepancy. Saw a little tier 1. Tier 3 into that immediately. Oh, if we can pick up the Anchorite Pylon, I would be so happy. No such luck. Actually, maybe, maybe, maybe. 64, 40. Mm, yes, 500 gold in my pocket. Okay, that worked out better than I thought it would. Okay, here comes a bit of a cluster here, but that's fine. Three, two, one, zero. Hmm, unfortunate. Let's just make sure everybody kind of piles in before I send out the Dragon Lord. Okay, summon, summon him, buddy. Hellstone, very solid. 
Are you gonna summon your dragon? You know, you're, you're the lord of them, buddy, please. Please summon your dragon. Oh, good, they both got went hostile. That's nice. Let's get a little bit more armor. Yeah, no point in throwing anyone into that meat grinder. Okay, so he has gone tier 3 into me, so we'll send out the war chief. He is very big and very scary and very war chief like. They're almost killing me faster than I can really get to them. That's irritating. Um, let's just get a little bit of a push going. Okay, good. Get the barracks off of them. that as best you can then I think I need to get to go straight to tier 3 because this AOE for the undead is just horrifying yeah, Murad is out of the pain picture that's good Dalren got Belt of Strength. That actually could be just fine. Support level 4. Very, very nice. Yeah, I mean, that that's that's actually a really solid roll. Okay. And then the first thing we're going to want to do is pick up the level 3 magic because we just need it to really cut down on the undead hordes. Okay, yeah, so we're just we're just getting lit up the second we walk into there. Mmm, and liquid fire, I think. Because once again, the number one thing that I'm worried about is just the sheer amount of undead. He's playing it very, very well, and it's really, really kind of scary. Oh, but we love that AoE. Just having that AoE come through is fantastic. Okay, well, we've almost got the magic, which is a very good start. Ooh, good tier two. Irritating tier two, for sure. Very lucky for us, you didn't catch Dalren Blackhand in it. And that's the AoE I'm talking about. Amen to that. Okay. Let's get more of that true horde nonsense going. Okay, good. So we have a little bit of liquid fire. Yeah, that's what I like to see. We're keeping the numbers at a reasonable... You know, once again, there's still there's still a lot of goddamn undead, but there's less. And that's the important part. <laughs> Delrin, Blackhand, Buff of Strength, Support. Yeah, yeah, okay, so he's still looking perfectly, like, solid. Am 
Might as well get a little bit of... Ooh, lost his right barracks. Oh my god, the sheer amount of undead. Don't worry, as long as he's not slept, we'll be able to kind of clear through this with you guys. Don't you worry. Just AOE, bud. Just, uh, blade spin. There it is. Make all that money for us. Boom. Okay, 1900. Oh, can I just yeet Deathwing? I think I'm gonna yeet Deathwing if I can. It worked against us in the last game, so I'd like to have it work for us in this game, if that's cool. Okay, good. Here comes Death Wing. Ba -da -da -da. It's ridiculous and strong. It's Death Wing. Ba -da 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 Okay, so that's a comma coming in us. That's fine. Oh, are we just gonna murder Sylvanas Windrunner for the uh other guys? Yeah, we did. Okay, now we have fancy gloves. That's kind of nice of us. Okay, that's fine. Who do we have down here that we can send out? Okay, that's cool. So we'll just let him push back in. We can send Cho'Gall out. Because is there anything... Yeah, I mean, we definitely want to just keep upgrading our, our units themselves. Yeah, this will be good with the Void Wave, Twilight Gauntlet. We can send the Dragon Lord down here. That'll be good as well. Yeah, so, okay, it seems like we're doing all right here. Okay, Dalran Blackhand on his diplomatic mission <laughs> has unfortunately fallen. Twas a noble endeavor, though. I do respect him forever for what he has done. Yeah, and there's no hero, and it's not that big of a pull push, so we can, I'd rather send the Dragon Lord into this much scarier Porsche down here. You're just making the timing irritating, guys. We'll pop this again. I've seen what a backline like th that looks like that can do. I'm playing zero games with that nonsense, my friends. Okay, good. Chogal got... Okay, he lost his middle barracks, so that's going to be it for Ponserinas. Switch that around. Okay, comma is down. Good. Okay, he's gone tier four into me. That is easy for me to to deal with. It's fine. The big thing is I just want to make sure I've got smite ready in case he wants to yeet Galio at me.
Okay, and we can send Deathwing down there. Which might be the right choice, because I, I can hold this pretty comfortably with Cho'Gall. Frankly, the more mana I can get him to use, the better off I'm going to be. Oh, bless Ponsirenas for holding as long as he has. Okay, we're able to snag that. Now we'll pick that up. Okay, so we fell again. That's fine. We will, however, cancel this then. And let's see how much mana he's got, because he spent 550 mana trying to shut us down. Okay, he's got more than I wanted him to have. That is for sure. Okay, Necrosh got just ever so slightly clipped. Poor guy. All right. So we've got that going. We've got Galio coming at us. That's going to be okay. I just wish I'd gotten some more of his health. I mean, s some more of his gold, if I'm being honest. But I think, I, I, you know, we're once again nowhere near out of the game. It's just a little tougher now. Okay. Okay, we can't even afford him up there. That's fine. Okay, so here they come. Okay, so we'll have to send Cho'Gal out here. Is that under 3750? Ooh, it is. Okay. But we do have Smite. Let's just use Smite. Oh, we, we still, there's no way we can hold this. Okay, we'll just send the war chief up that way. Oh my god, he just single handedly threw them back into the abyss from which they, from the abyss from which they came. Amazing! Okay. That was a lot of damage. Good. Okay, no, Necrosh, why would you go that way? Okay, well, that side's gonna be super well covered. Oh my god, that's so irritating. <laughs> In what world could that have been what I meant? <laughs> Necrosh. Alright, well, now we have to spend this to hold. So we have no mana. Which puts us at a pretty severe disadvantage. 
But at the very least, we can go tier four just about everywhere. Or is this tier four for you? Yeah, of course it is. Um, but you've got two heroes running down the middle, running down it, so. You know, there's treasure everywhere, I suppose. <laughs> I still think it was all relatively the right choice. It's just, I mean, just Necrosh not going here really screwed up my my plans, if I'm being honest. Okay, let's try and get as many of these little upgrades as we can. We will pick up Goblin Munitions because anything that murders AoE is okay with me. You like these dead eyes? These dead eyes? Those horrifyingly broken, shattered memories of a human being? That's me. Alright, we'll go tier 4 here as well. We will pick this up as well. Oh, Arthas, I really don't know if this is a lineup you're you're fully equipped to handle, my guy. Especially when this lane crashes in. It's going to be a party, let me tell you. I remember it's going to be an interesting fight because uh, none of the people, no one here cares about collateral damage. At all. People just die here, fam. Like, that's just what happens. Okay, we'll grab that. Okay, now we're finally starting to collapse here. On the enemy, we're not collapsing. We're, we're collapsing onto the forces of our, our foes. If we win this, this is just through straight up brute force. This is there's nothing particularly like strategic that I've done here. Yeah, thank God you guys are you know pulling your weight, idiots. All right. The thing is, I want to keep dropping Deathwing pretty much on cooldown as much as I can in order to keep his mana, to keep him from, to keep him using his mana. Because he is getting a lot of mana back. Of that, there's no doubt. But at the same time, he's not getting it back fast enough that I, that I can make him spend it. A single smite is 275 mana. It's one smite. 275. Okay, Cho'Gal is getting Sobe Mask, Mandal of Intelligence, solid stuff. Okay, a lot of Sobe Masks. You don't normally see this many Sobe Masks. Not that I'm complaining. I'm complaining a little bit, but not that much. Okay, cool. So hopefully we'll be able to die relatively quickly to this. Here comes the fight. Do 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 do. Okay, he's gonna smite this guy. That's okay. That's fine. Because that's all we needed him for.
Your town is very much under siege, my friend. Thank you for pointing that out. Because now, all of a sudden, his mana is super low. Galio is going to go off on his merry way. That is fine. Oh, we are losing more buildings than I thought. Really appreciate our heroes coming back if that's cool. Okay, now we've got to get them to focus on not our fortress. Thank you. Okay, we got blown up pretty hard there. But let's see how let's see if we're able to turn this around who which asshole oh t both of them good 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 I love that man our heroes are just really not quite helping us today I mean it's all right I mean it, no it's not all right it's super irritating but I mean it's just fascinating that they've just all decided it's not worth it to them right now Okay, so I'm actually amazed we did not lose nearly as much as I thought we were going to right there. Okay, so here comes a nice big push. Okay, good. Yes, pull the heroes back just a little bit more so we can hopefully, you know, isolate and focus them down. Okay, we've got a lot of gold. Tempting. Let's see how much damage our heroes do here. Okay, if we're able to knock out Arthas, that's already a nice pickup for us. Galio go was going on a bit of a trip there. Okay, Arthas is down. Okay, yeah, we're just slowly but surely really grinding him down here he does not have enough yet for a smite okay sylvanas has uh, betrayed him Lost one. That's okay. Dalrend is down. Okay, the summon and the AoE is coming in clutch. Okay, so he must have... Oh, he just had enough. Oh, you clever, clever boy. Clever, clever. send him out next we've got deathwing going up the middle here we'll hopefully be able to at the very least clear up a fair amount of the enemy he's gotten a whole bunch of stuff just through sheer summonings good 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 we love how aggressive his aoe clear is okay galio's having kind of a rough time holding this all down let's upgrade that 
pick that up. That's, that's going to be less fun to hold, but it is going to be fully manageable to hold. Oh, please tell me you're just focusing down Kel'Thuzad. be really cool if you were. Yeah, so he is running train over there. Go Deathwing, go Deathwing, go. And the reason why I'm taking it easy on Galio is because I want Deathwing to land there first. And then swing back up. Okay, so we're going to want to send you out first. We love that cleave, baby. That cleave is stupid strong. Okay, unfortunately, Galio is back up. Oh, I need to find a way to get the aggro off. Okay, good, good, good. All right, and we've turned that around, surprisingly. Deathwing is down. Okay, not a not a ton of time to get him back. Let's pick this up. Who is texting me? No one. Okay, good. Who do I have here? I've got no heroes. Ay 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 ay. Okay, so we're just gonna have to nuke him. That's okay. Just don't want him in my life right now. Okay, he's coming in to us. That's fine. That's a much. That is a. That is an area that is far better equipped to uh, handle you. Gotta make sure we have a good amount of units ready and raring to go. Yeah, so it's a rumble in the jungle up here. That's okay. Let's see if hero items are stronger than special units. Oh, damn, no, they've been blowing up Dalrent. Oh, God. It's also a level 20 Galio. I, I think I kind of forgot how powerful that is. Um, Need some relief on that side. I don't I just don't know if we quite have enough in the tank to hold this. Yeah, and Galio's already back up to a hundred percent health. Necrosh is doing okay. He's not doing great. Okay, we're slowly pushing them back out. Um... Hello, thank you. Oh, we got him out in time. Okay. Ah! I forgot.
not quite enough mana. But, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this episode of Sergeant Neutral Play Survival Chaos. I'm sorry I couldn't bring you guys a win this time around, but if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Sergeant Neutral, signing out.